At the lead of some breakthrough projects in space science, gay Jane Perez proves women's capabilities to innovate and make achievements that reach far beyond Earth. We're joined now by the Philippine Space Agency's Deputy Director General. Dr. Perez, thank you so much for joining us. Share with us how you got into a career in space. Hi, good evening, Rico. Well, um, first of all, uh, my training as a physicist mm -hmm. uh, taught me how to interrogate data or mm -hmm. measurements, uh, use models to understand how nature works, and uh, synthesize findings to come up with actionable information. So when I was given the opportunity to do my postdoctoral studies at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center, I saw how I could further enhance mm -hmm. what I learned as a student, um, but this time analyzing huge amount of Earth observation satellite data. At the same time, while I was there, I gained better appreciation of the value of space, science, mm -hmm. and technology right. and exploration. So more than looking at the stars or, uh, say, sending astronauts in orbit, there are very practical applications of space that improves our lives here on Earth. Um, so for those reasons, mm -hmm. I decided to pursue space science and technology by focusing on its applications. And we are indeed very proud of you, uh, uh, Dr. Perez. But if you take a look at the numbers, there are very few women physicists and engineers who have worked with, uh, with the department in developing satellites. Only 15 out of 67 who participated in seven major satellite projects of the agency are women. Why so few women? Um, well, actually, these numbers are, are close to the global average mm. of um, one out of five workers in space sector are women. Um, part of the reason um, could be a lack of role models. Mm -hmm. But actually, uh, aside from not having enough women role models, I can say that um, generally there is a lack of awareness mm. um, in career opportunities in space science and engineering. And actually, that's uh, what we're trying to address here at the Philippine Space Agency um, through our active social media campaigns and uh, space education awareness program. Is it also so possible, doctor? Yes. Doctor, is it also possible uh, because of the difficulty of the subjects, physics, science, technology, engineering, math? I mean, it's a hurdle. Well, Unfortunately, uh, girls are raised to believe that math, um, engineering, physics are masculine fields or are difficult subjects. But mm -hmm. this is not true. Uh, this actually is a stereotype which um, undermines uh, the performance of women and girls in these fields because they believe uh, that they can't excel in it. But we need to unlearn these stereotypes to help women and girls become better at these fields. And you have made... Uh a big difference, uh, Dr. Perez, in your chosen career through landmark satellites, the WATA-1, the WATA-2, and the Maya satellites. What does it take to accomplish all of these? Well, you know, Rico, when we build satellites and related space technologies, we also build people, highly skilled workforce. Mm. So in space, we deal with complex problems that entail interdisciplinary solutions. So we rely not just on the depth of expertise, but also on the, on the breadth of skills such as teamwork, um, project management, collaboration, and good communication, mm -hmm. among others. And what are you working at the moment, uh, Dr. Perez? Uh, new breakthroughs uh, for our Kababayans, for the country? Well, in my current position at the Philippine Space Agency, I'm taking more of that administrative role. And I think this is an excellent opportunity uh, for me to contribute to the build-up of the Philippine Space Agency, particularly on uh, building a research culture, uh, building the foundation of the agency so we can uh, thrive, uh, we can pursue uh, space science, uh, technology, and its applications. Uh, so this is the foundation. So. Uh, we, I can mention several projects like uh, the Mula satellite, which uh, we are developing, and the different applications where we mobilize uh, space data for monitoring our environment, our agriculture, and uh, for disaster response. But really right mm. now, um, I guess my contribution is 
on laying down the groundwork Correct. Um, as one of the officials of the Philippine Space Agency. And Agency. what is your message, uh, Dr. Perez, to women who also want to make a name for themselves in the field of space technology? Well, to the young girls out there, don't hesitate. Pursue your dreams and your passions. Uh, go out, explore, and embrace opportunities. And if there's a chance, pursue advanced degrees. Uh, take your master's or even doctorate. Thank you so much uh, for joining us on The Final Word. You are indeed an inspiration to the Filipino people. Philippine Space Agency Deputy Director General Dr. Gay Jane Perez.